today we will just continue reading Gurudev's ecstatic book, Temple of Love. Uh, so for those who have book, it's uh, we continue from page 148. <clears throat> so Guru the Shen. Krishna oh. Krishna will not teach you Anuraga. Radhika can teach the Kinkaris Anuraga. If you are very close with Radhika, like a Kinkari, if you are very close to any female, very like a Kinkari, then Radhika will give you entry into the Nivriti Kunja. Yesterday night, <coughs> devotees decorated a room, and one devotee said, Oh, I want to take picture. The other devotee replied, No, no, today, tomorrow, Guru de Wafi, not today, tomorrow. <laughs> Don't disturb. <laughs> Guru de said, I enjoyed that so much, I cannot say. So I said to the first devotee, you are not a manjari. If you are a manjari, Swamini will invite you. Come to my kunja. I will hide you inside. Wow. And you will see everything. <laughs> Good the loves. Could you read it to the studio? Thank you. Only manjaris have this qualification to go in Nivriti Nikunj. Do you understand? Manjaris even say to Krishna, not today, tomorrow you can come and I can give you all my ideas. So Guru Dev, back to this exchange of these two devotees. He said, not today, tomorrow. It's happening like in Radha Krishna's pastimes. Understand? The devotee said, not today. Tomorrow, later, the first devotee who desired to take photos came to me and showed me a picture. <laughs> I said, how you went there? The devotee said, Radha let me in. <laughs> Do you understand what is the mercy of Radha? And for the Manjaris, Radha doesn't feel any problems because they are one. The Kinkaris are the heart of Radhika. This is a feeling to 
understand. Jai Ho, Jai Jai Shri Radhe. So now we go go to next sharing on Vilapa Kusumanjali, verse 15. Lecture happened 16th October 2017. Devotee is reading. Oh, blooming lotus eyed girl, Radhe. When my eyes directly saw your pond, Radhaku, which is filled with sweet water and lotus flowers that are surrounded by blissfully humming bees, then I really got the desire to taste the nectar of your service. Gurudev, read again. Devotee. All blooming lotus eyed girl Radhe. When my eyes directly saw your pond, Radha Kum, which is filled with sweet water and lotus flowers surrounded by blissful humming bees. Then I really got the desire to taste the nectar of your service. Buddha. The quality of the lotus is that it lives in the water but the water never touches the flower. Lotus means living in the material world, but it doesn't touch you. That is the meaning of lotus flower. Then honey is coming. And when there is honey, the bees are coming there. Honey means sweetness. Someone may say, I don't live in the material world. But how is that possible? Your, your senses are there. Your body is there. Your mind is there. How can you be out of the material world? Never. No one can be out of the material world. But we can become like a lotus that this material world is not touching us. The water touches me but I don't touch the water. That nature has to grow. And then honey will come. 
Honey will come in the flower of the lotus. And when there is honey in the lotus flower, then the bee will come. Krishna will come to you. Devotee asking, Krishna comes? Skurudev, yes, he comes. The bee is Krishna. And this attracts me. When will this time come in my life? Everything is there. More and more things will come. But I will live like a lotus flower in this material world. Without that, I cannot see the beauty of Radha Kondi. I cannot understand your mercy without becoming like a lotus flower. If I like material things, Radakund is not beautiful for me. Because the material world is beautiful for me. And when the material world does not touch me, then I see the beauty of Radha Everything is there. My husband is there. The family is there. My house is there. But it's not touching me. I do everything in a normal way, but I don't want to involve myself. I do everything in a mood of service. I do everything in a mood of service. That is the nature of the lotus flower. Devotee asking, <coughs> is service and duty the same thing? Guru Dev, service is a different thing. Duty means my responsibility. And service means I serve. Devoti Seva. Seva, Guru Dev says means my own interest is not involved there. In duty, my interest is involved. I have to perform it nicely. And when I serve, It may be nice or not nice, but I will do my service. The result may be positive, may be negative, but, uh, but what I do is service. 
Everything is in your hand. Brothers. Devotee. So, when I see the material world just as some experience, but I concentrate on my service, then I can really learn to see Radha Kun, and then I become inspired for Swami's service there. Gurudev. Without lotus, I will not understand the beauty of Radha Kun. The mind will not go to create the honey in the flower. Sweetness will never come. So once again, without lotus, I will not understand the beauty of Radha. The mind will not create the honey, the flower, and the sweetness will not come. And without the and the body adds, and without the sweetness, the mercy will not come. Guru the bee will not come. This is the basic. Then I cannot understand the beauty of the sweetness of the water. It will be sour to me. I will not see the beauty of These are all feelings, spiritual feelings, divine feelings, right? Vamshi, Aravan. So it's better not to live in Radha Kund if there are still some material desires. Asking Guru Dev, hundred percent. Ramshi, only if you are free, then it's nice to be there. Guru Dev, yes. When the greed for honey is there, then we have to become like a lotus. They will be asking. In spiritual life, there is also greed. More than hundred percent greed for the fun. Greed to become one point. It is also greed. If the spiritual life is not greed, then I will always be in material life. If spiritual life is not greed, then I will always be in material life. I need the greed for the spirituality. Good. 
Um, I think it's well two 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 points. First, it's so wonderful that we hear the voice of our dear Raghunathas coming out in this book only days after he left his body. And beautiful that <clears throat> already in this exchange with Gurudev, maybe, I don't know, 10 years ago, we hear that he was already longing for Radhakund. <clears throat> but also <clears throat> about Seva, um, the devotee asks, well, I must do seva then. But for seva to be, be real, it cannot be driven by material desire. It cannot be driven by ego. And what is most beautiful about Seva when we realize this is that when we've completely cleared away our false ego, when we've completely found our spiritual identity, when we've completely become when we completely come into our svarup, our spiritual form, then everything is seva. All action, all movements, all feeling has only one goal, and that's for the service of Radharani. And so everything we do is seva. To breathe air into our lungs is seva to Radharani. To let our hearts beat with the muscle of our heart, this is seva to Radharani. To be conscious at all is seva. So when we are in spiritual consciousness, there is nothing else but seva. Like a lotus, 
if you live in the material world and you are attached with the material world, you are not allowed to see flower. Then there is still attachment with the material, right? If there is attachment, yes. If there is attachment, then yes. Guru, then. In a service mood, everything is beautiful. In service mood, everything is beautiful. Devotee in Manjari Bhava and Guru Dev. But with attachment. Ah. With the greed for material things, it will never increase my spiritual life. Greed has to change in spiritual. To research what is honey, what is the beauty of the lotus? How can I become like a lotus? Devotee. This is similar to re renunciation. Guru. The meaning of renouncement is this. I live and run away from the material world and again I start creating material. Devotee. It's like how to distinguish renunciation and escape escaping the world. Guru they're explaining. Greed of spirituality is important. Attachment makes you renounce. Devotee. Attachment makes a renounce. How? <laughs> Imagine you have five girlfriends and you become attached with one of them. You will renounce the other four. Natural. Attachment makes you to renounce. And the renouncement never makes you attached. If you renounce something and then you want to attach, nothing happens. But attachment makes you renounce everything else. Automatically, you don't have to effort, do effort for that. <laughs> you simply have no time. Then it's attachment. No space for other things. One pointed. The 
this is the beauty of attention. And to develop greed. Right? What to renounce? Attachment makes you renounce. My Radha Mohan attachment makes me renounce everything else. Even the preaching in the European world, American world, South American world, I'm not interested now. I was very attached with the traveling. But as deep as the attachment will get, as deep the renouncement will be. And the circumstances will become favorable that you reject the useless things. And when something bad is happening in the circumstances, it also becomes mercy for you. Because sometimes we are so much attached that we need a shake. So Radharani gives the mercy to shake you. You're a bad person. You're not fit for that. Why? Her mercy makes you bad. It's her giving, it's Radha's giving you mercy. And what happens in your life? If some negative is happening, it is also positive mercy. This connection means She's the hard disconnection. It's living like a flower. I cannot go to Europe. They were just talking. But I will go like a lot of flower. Gurudev, now all the things, we have to do arrangements. We have I to not plan and do for the next now. days, you know. So we we'll was short and then step out and I'm for Guru Kun. So in if five you minutes, become so like a lot of always. You can understand the value of Radha Kund. Devotee, very nice, very clear. Raguna, in English we call this blessing in disguise. Gurudev, yes. It's a blessing. And this is the mercy. It looks negative, but it becomes positive. Light makes you more positive. That is beauty of blessing. Devotee. When too much obstacles come in life, then people tend to move away from God. Mm -hmm. 
to Gurudev. It depends. It depends on the greed. Obstacles come because we are not qualified yet for that. We don't understand. We are not qualified for something, but still we want to do that. That is an obstacle. When I am not qualified, maybe your qualification will, co will count in different directions. How can you assess for what are you qualified? Maybe someone is qualified for spirituality. Then he can help more than a material person. And his life is more comfortable. Like that of a normal person. How can you assess yourself? It's all mercy. What will happen to you is his mercy. Why do you bother for that? It's all happening by grace. This is my realization in my life. It's all happening by grace. It's all happening by grace. This is my experience. We study something, we prepare something, and he wants to use you in a different direction. And he uses you in a different way. All your education becomes useless after some time. I graduated physics and mathematics, but I don't know how to use it. Devotee, these material qualifications then have no application anyway. Yes, anyway. Devotee, but you, Gurudev, always show us very good mathematics. Gurudev, sometimes you make spiritual mathematics now. You see, mercy. What is coming, I am receiving and then sharing. It's not by me learning something. Immediately, I check the guide and do that. I never prepare myself. Devotee. Spontaneously. And then reads commentary of Ananta Baba <coughs> on verse 15. In the previous verse, Sri Raghunath Das prayed to Srimati Radhika that he may once 
see her lotus feet anointed with black dye and in this verse he prays for the actual service of these anointed lotus feet having become greedy for this service. Guru, again, Devotee. In the previous verse, Sri Raghunath Das prayed to Sri Mati Radhika that he may once see her lotus feet anointed with luck dye. Guru, do you see? Once I see these lotus feet with light, that is still my greed to see that. Alta means red cover. How I will see? How I will see? This is the dream. This is looking. This is seeing Radha. Thinking for Radhika is Radha. Thinking about Radhika is Radha. Without selflessness, we cannot see. Without selflessness, this greed will never come. If there is some other greed inside me, material attachment is there, we don't become like a lotus, because attachment is there. And I cannot see Radhika. And I cannot see her lotus feet with Alpha. Red Diva. How beautiful. I cannot see how beautiful her feet look. There will be. First, you want to see, and then you want to serve. Good. Yes. Feeling with that. We look to feel it. And feeling is love, raga, and honor. Raga means I love it. I like this. And Anuraga means your mercy also starts coming to me. You are also giving me your love. Exchange of love. This is Anurag. Devotee with God. Guru there any place. Anuraga means this. When I feel your love and you feel my love, this is Anuraga. Ravana. And you feel it always new. Gurudev, Gurudev. Always, love is always new. The refined love is Gurudev, pure, selfless. No self-interest involved there. 
Only for your pleasure and happiness I serve. This is how you will be. On auto slide, I draw that. Ever since I got to see your lake, I developed a liking, developed a liking for your devotional service. Yes, I start liking. I start liking that. Nature of the lotus. Beauty. That starts my how Krishna is liking that I start feeling. How the kinkaris are making your lotus feet with a red flag. That I start feeling. Devotee, <laughs> all varieties of charanas have a good them. So much, so many big varieties. How Krishna is painting your lotus feet? He tries to paint. Again, reading from the Lord Kusumangri. Shirada Kund is the limitlessly beautiful crown jewel Raj. Priyachis Sarasi, which is most mm, Sarasi. Gurudev, every word here has a meaning. Crown jewel. Vraja Mukuttaman. Crown Mukut. That would be the highest. The crown. Gurudev. And the center in that? The jewel. The jewel in that crown is Raja. It's not only crown. It's the jewel in that crown that highest in everything. That is Raja. Without a Braja base, you cannot understand this light, divine light, exchange of love light. Priyajis Sarasi which is the most dear to those whose everything is the service of Sri Radhika's lotus feet. Guru Rasika and Sarasika. Who enjoys is a Rasika and who gives the enjoyment is Sarasika. Give to. 
и Изразика Шекара Кришна. He is the enjoyer. And how to be enjoyed with the enjoyer? She is giving Sarasa. Sarasa make you Sarasa. Full of Rasa. Devoti. The donor, Gurude. Radhika is the donor, the giver. Gurude. Of Rasa. Sarasa. Radhika will make you Rasika. Sa, similar to herself, with rasa, sarasa, the qualities that she has, she will penetrate them to you without any efforts. <laughs> There will be causeless mercy. Guru Dev. Radhika will make you similar to her. That is Sarasa. How you will understand Rasa without Sarasa? Yes. One is the pleasure giving potency, and one is enjoyer. If you don't know how to give pleasure to the enjoyer, how can you be Sarasika? Then you just don't learn that. Raguna. It is like you said. The Radha Kund is flowing into Shyama Kund. Pleasure. Mm -hmm. You have to learn how to give pleasure. Guru, the pleasure. You have to learn how to give pleasure. It's also an art. Devoti, big art, the biggest. Guru, the what will this Rasika teach you? What will he teach you? He is the enjoyer. How you will give pleasure to pleasure giving potency? How you can give more and more pleasure? Who can teach you this? Devotee, the one who receives the pleasure? Guru Dev, the one who receives the pleasure, how you will give the pleasure? 
If you have not prepared yourself, so first Radhika prepares us how to give more and more pleasure. and to become Sarasa. So she is the pleasure giving potency and we have to learn how to give pleasure. Enjoy her. That's not a big meaning. Devotee. If someone is giving pleasure, it means that he is also enjoying. If I'm giving you pleasure, good, yes. But that pleasure giving potency is more important than the enjoyer. Devotee, Radhika's mercy and shelter at her lotus feet through her dasis is more important than Krishna's shelter. Once again, Radhika's mercy and shelter at her lotus feet through her dasis is more important than Krishna's shelter. Gurudev, yes, this is the point. We want to become enjoyer, but we are not enjoyer. And we don't want to take the shelter of Sarasika to learn this. Then I'm nowhere. So, pleasure giving potency is also receiving pleasure. But she receives the pleasure by giving. And the other enjoys the pleasure by taking, receiving. Gurudev, so what is better? Those who are giving get more pleasure than someone who receives the pleasure. Devotee, yes, the one who is giving the pleasure. Gurudev, that's the beauty. When you will realize this, you will never leave the lotus feet of Radhika. She is a better friend than the other one. Gurudev, then I will fix more and more in Radhika's lotus feet. So, I don't want to become Rasika, Rasika Shekhara, or associate of, of Krishna. I want to be Sarasika. And I want to run and learn this. I want to learn how to give pleasure. Right? Devotee, this is Radha Dasya. Gurudev. It's very difficult to understand this out of Vrindavan. I 
I'm telling you, you will never find someone to explain you so many details. And I'm not telling this. It's the mercy that is coming. But you read, I give you the book. It's difficult to understand outside of Vrinda. This land will guide you to understand. This is the beauty of this land, Vrinda. Devotee, outside of Vrindavan, there are so many layers. Gurudev, my Swamini says, you are fool. You want to go out. For what? You don't want to become my devotee. You want to associate with Rasika Shekhara? You don't want to be in Rasa? Crazy! Still your desire, desire is not fulfilled. Still you want some, la some lava, puja, pratishta. Still you have some desire. I tried so much to advise you. When you will die, then what will you have learned? Practice. It's better to practice if someone still has energy. Why do you waste your time for nothing? Sometimes we just don't understand what's happening. The mother says, don't touch fire, fire burns. But the child anyway wants to touch. Because the fire has such a beautiful red color. <laughs> then the mother stops the baby once. After that, baby still wants to touch. Two, three slaps. Good slaps. Maybe four slaps will be better. Slapping is mercy. Did you understand now? Okay. Take your first feet and burn. Do you understand now that this is a fire? Oh, yeah, I understood now. Okay, okay, okay. It's too late, but you understand now. The whole world is a fire without taking shelter of Sarasika. And if you want to become Sarasika, there is only one point to go. And this is the pleasure giving potency. Mm -hmm. She knows how to give pleasure to this naughty black boy who is a debauchee. She gives pleasure to the devotee boy. This Krishna is a devotee, bad, very naughty. She is ready, Radhika is ready to give all pleasure to this guy, 
Krishna. You know, it's right or not? By knowing of the subject. But I will give so much pleasure that you will forget everything that you did before. This is the meaning of giving pleasure. Pleasure means I give you so much. It, like you never dreamt in your life. I'm the Supreme Personality. Why you say this? I know you are a debauchee. But anyway, after all that, I still give you. You know? This is the beauty. Radhika says, I give you while knowing this because I love you. And I, I will only teach how to love. This is my Swamini. My Swamini doesn't see anyone's qualification. She doesn't see even the qualifications of her lover. Will any girl love a debauchee, a woman hunter? If she's a very beautiful girl, will she search for a black boy? She will try to find a good boy, sweet one, nice, loyal, following her. But no, no qualification. Her lover requires no qualification. And her dasis require no qualification. This is the beauty of my Swamini. Devotees. Jai Ho! Gurudev. She never sees any qualification who wants to be close with her. This is the beauty for her. You know, who wants to be close with her, this is the beauty for her. Once again, who wants to be close to her, this is the beauty for her, you know. Raguna, Vundaba. <laughs> <laughs> Gurudev, the Vedas never write that he is a debauchee, that Krishna is a debauchee. They see, they say, Krishna is so smart. He has such a big eyes, so beautiful. He is the Supreme Lord. But the lovers say, You are a debauchee, womanizer. You are black. You are naughty. You are thief. This is your qualification. <laughs> you are a cowboy. You are just a funny guy. This is the play. This is the prayer. 
the talk of the lovers. The speakers of the Vedas, they glorify, but this Krishna doesn't become happy with this glorification. He likes these words. New words he likes to listen. <laughs> Never spoken about me. No one called me like this before. Because only lovers have the right to say such words. And why? Because they became Radha Dasi. Raghunath. Because of the intimate relation, they can speak like this. Gurudev, Sarasa. Sarasa. What does that mean, Sarasa? The one who is always in Rasa. One is Rasika, enjoying the Rasa. Rasika Shekhara, who is the top enjoyer. We associate with the Rasika, Rasika Shekhara. He is the supreme. Krishna. But who lives in Sarasa, Radhika, she is full of rasa. Radhika is so much rasa that the bee is coming to the honey. She is so much rasa that the bee is coming for the honey. The honey is not going to the bee. Did you ever hear here that there is a place where the honey is walking, going to the bee? <laughs> no. The bee comes to the honey. When you have honey, the bee will come to you. Because Rasika will come to you to take the honey. Rasika Shekara will come to take that honey. So what is important? Rasika Shekara or Sarasa? Devotees, Sarasa. Sarasa, the donor. Gurudev. Sarasa. How to be full of Rasa all the time? How to be full of rasa all the time. That is Swamini. That is my sarasa. And I want to sarasa. I want always to be in rasa. And this can only come by the mercy of Radhika. Jai Radhe Devotees Gurudev Don't miss this I cannot repeat it again and again <laughs> hmm. When I will no longer live in this body then you will read then you will listen to that 
Ragonatem. In this one bhajan song, we sing Jai Jai Ujvala Rasa Sarva Rasa Sara in Jai Radha Jai Krishna. Gurudev Sarva Rasa Sara Rasa Sara Those who are unknown of Rasa they go to Rasika Shekara. Who has no qualification to live in Rasa it's not easy to live in Rasa. To become a bee, to go and take the honey from others, it's not a big thing. The bee has a nature to go and take the honey. But to make honey, to attract, to attract the bee, this is rasa, sarasa. If I have no honey, how will be come? And when the bee is coming, the nature of the lotus is to close the flower in the evening and the bee stays inside. The bee has the power to cut the flower because flower is very soft. But the bee stays in the flower. Krishna stays and does not cut it the whole night. He only sucks the honey, waits for the morning, when the flower will open, and he will fly. Devotee, this is the quality of the bee. And Gurudev, this is the quality of my Krishna. He waits all night with the honey and there is so much honey. Take, take as much as you want. Rasa, Rasa Sara, unlimited. All Rasa is there. So what is important? Devotee, Sarasa, Sarasa, Gurudev, Jai Shri Radha. Now, meditate on this and develop greed for that. Would someone like to share on this? How about you? Would you like to share? Good, you said Derek wants to share. I'm just, I'm just listening and drinking in the nectar. I do enjoy. <laughs> I'm 
very unqualified, only repeating the words, nothing else. Dear Guru Dev, you give honey to us. I'm so grateful. Thank you so much. I see from here, we have double here, so I see maybe Himagiri san, if you would like to share some, if you feel, just if you feel. Uh, uh... 本当に聞いてるだけであのすごく満たされますあのそう全然こう語る資格がないあのすごく難しいなと思って聞いてます I don't have any qualification to share because it's difficult for me. It's too difficult. Tada, you look over me, Skyrim, you look over your Rikai, Sir Kotomo, Muzukashi, Nato, Temus. Just to serve pleasure and just to understand pleasure was so difficult for me. Shokusetsu,ラーダの喜びに使えることはできないんじゃないかと思ってます。I cannot serve directly the pleasure of Rada. 本当にわからないからです。because I really I cannot understand. Um. Tada, devotee no kata tachi no yurokobi ni skyru koto wa But maybe I can serve the pleasure of devotee. Shikaku de kao mite. To see the places with clothes. To see the activities with clothes. To see the feeling of the feeling of the feeling of the feeling of the feeling いつも使えることが難しいなと思ってます。I always feel it difficult to serve. うん。ただ悲しいなと思ってます。Just I feel sad. ただただ悲しみが来ます。just sadness どこかしらに悲しさがあります? I always feel some sadness. 今はその悲しさだけが唯一 
自分を知る方法だなと思っています。いつかラーダに生き返られる日を祈ってやるべきことをやっていきたいなと思っています。I pray one day I can serve ラーダ and to keep continue what I can do. 本当に語る資格がないところを少し話させていただいてありがとうございます。Thank you very much. I really have no qualification to share, but thank you for giving me this opportunity.